so yeah Mark Norman was on Tuesday with Stories a couple of episodes ago on my live stream I clipped it up and put it on my on my fucking channel where Mark Norman's complaining to Joe List saying hey it's really difficult taking merch with me on the road because sometimes I don't sell the merch and then I have to bring it back with me but then it costs a lot of money and it's heavier and shit to bring it back with me it's just fad, you know just just annoying so sometimes he kind of confessed that if he doesn't sell the merch he just chucks it in the bin right and I was saying on a live stream I'm surprised more um, more fans of comedy who go to see stand-up special, you know, sorry, go to see comedy shows, stand-up special, comedy shows, I was surprised more fans don't buy merch when they're there. Because if it's me, I don't think I trust Burt Kreischer, Ari Shafir, all these guys to ship my t-shirt in time. I like these guys, whatever, I want to support them, but I don't trust them if I buy online that they're going to ship it in a timely manner. So I would much prefer to take my money with me at a show that I'm going to go see them anyway and then just buy a ticket, hand, uh, sorry, buy a shirt hand to hand, cash in hand kind of thing. But then somebody, loads of people in the chat were saying, you guys don't give a fuck about merch, you're not going to buy it, it's a waste of money. Like everybody was saying, it didn't matter if it was at like $20 or 10 you know, or $50. Everyone was basically saying in the chat at the time, that you guys don't like merch at all, which I was surprised by. So, if that's the case, if the kind of consensus across the board from fans who like comedy, who like stand-up, if they don't like merch, or it takes a, it's a hard way, they kind of find it difficult to give a comedian £20 for a t-shirt, or whatever it may be, because it's too expensive, can you please tell me who is the customer for these monstrosities that Brendan's put together for the Golden Hour team. If people are not able to buy $20 t-shirts that say comedy on it, that Mark Norman's selling, please tell me which fan is going to be purchasing a gold, Golden Hour bomber jacket. Please tell me. I was at the team mobile one. used to do this all the time. Yo, I, 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 have, I, I, I had a, I won't say who it is, I had a buddy when I first started doing stand-up, he would tour me and everywhere. He, that's how I found out about it. I learned the game through him. He would go there, little dude. Okay. Fast, we look like fast, a boy fast. band. Nah, and I look the best in the jacket, honestly. Do we look what like are you uh, talking the, the Backstreet Boys? You the best in the jacket. Who the best in the jacket? I do. All right. Well, these are the Patri these are the jackets, the Golden Hour jackets. Oh, and they are litty, as we yeah. say on the streets. Yeah, we do say that. <laughs> Show on the them streets. back. Look at that, the Golden Hour. That's really cool. Thanks, man. Uh, patreoncom slash Hour podcast. These jackets are available only to the Patreonies. Don't you say that. Two goldies. Patreon. They're not. Please, someone tell me, if you can't buy a t-shirt that says comedy on it and you don't want to buy it because it's too expensive, it's corny, it's lame, whatever your reason is, can you please tell me who the fuck is going to buy a gold bomber jacket that says the golden hour on the back of it? <laughs> the golden hour show, by the way, that has one co-host, one third of that team has been accused of, a, of being a pedophile. Right? So you're wearing pedo gear. Who's going to buy a gold pedo bomber jacket? <laughs> Can someone please tell me? Because I understand the t-shirt thing. I get it. I get it. Okay? Merch t-shirt for the most part. They're usually made on fucking crappy blanks. The graphics are awful. Um, it's very novelty type of an item. Maybe something you're going to wear around the house as PJs. Something that you have as a souvenir in your wardrobe just to say that you were there. Like having a wristband. Cool. But at least the t-shirt is going to be max $30. Max $30. Maybe 40 if it's printed on some really good fucking cotton. Cool. But that bomber jacket is probably going to be like $100. Most likely. If they're only selling it to the Patreon fans... Most likely, they've made a small run of those. Most likely. And they're probably going to be over $100. If it's under $100, i will be shocked. But if it's over $100, who's paying that? For a gold, golden hour bomber jacket. And you have to imagine you are endorsing, you are co-signing, by default, Chris D'Elia's extracurricular activities. Crystalia's penchant for, you know, under 18s. That's what you're doing when you wear that jacket. You're saying, I'm an under 18 warrior by wearing that kind of jacket. You're saying, under 18s, come out to play. That's what you're basically doing with that jacket. <laughs> so you have to keep that in mind if you buy one. Like, can you imagine? Whoa. And I love the enthusiasm for the rest of the team when they're fucking introducing it, actually. 
you can clearly tell this is Brendan's idea and no one else's. Like, he, he's the one that quote-unquote designed this. Because look at the lack of enthusiasm for everybody else. Eric clearly has to pay bills. And, you know, he has to kind of, you know, he's a, he's a grown-up of the bunch. So he just kind of acts slow, along that he likes it because he needs the money. But Chris is definitely dying inside a little bit. He has, he wants to, look, look, look at Chris. You can tell he doesn't like the jacket. You know why he doesn't like the jacket? Look at that collar. He didn't even fix the collar. <laughs> he just wore it like somebody put it on him to take a picture. <laughs> he doesn't like that jacket at all. He didn't fix the collar one bit or so ever. <laughs> he just put it on to put it on <laughs> like a promo picture. But look at the lack of enthusiasm for the team. Just watch this as they introduce the it. Watch. Boy band. Oh, and I look the best in the jacket, honestly. Do we look what like are you uh, talking the about? Backstreet you Boys? You look the, the, back the, the best in the jacket. I do. All right. Well, these are the Patri These are the jackets, the Golden Hour jackets. Oh, and they are litty, as we yeah. say on the the streets yeah we do say that on show the them back <laughs> on the streets. look at that the golden hour that's really cool thanks man uh he said thanks man that's really cool thanks man he took all the credit for that one he's the only one who designed it <laughs> patreon.com slash the golden hour podcast these jackets are available only to the patreonies don't you say that two goldies patreon they're not goldies members. you get two extra episodes per month ad free episodes and we chance, get lit on and them. the important thing is you get a chance to zoom in and talk with us. That's on our Patreon, and there's already 15 episodes available. So you can hold, 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 hold. Look how quickly they switch from promoting the jackets to talking about the benefits of the Patreon. <laughs> the, the <coughs> Sorry. They're showing images of the fucking jacket on the screen, but then they're talking about the benefits of joining the Patreon. <laughs> They don't fuck with the jacket one bit. Don't you get say that. Two goldies. Patreon. They're not goldies. Members. You get two extra uh, can't look, They can't agree on the colors. Is it gold? Is it yellow? Who knows? So it's per month. Axe J. Ad free episodes. And we get lit on it. What does I say on there? Did it say their names? You got to walk around with Chris Delia's name on your fucking chest. What does I say on there? Oh, I can't see it. Let's, let's see if I can increase the resolution. No way is, are their names on there. Is it their names? What the fuck is that? Oh, the Gold Now podcast established 2022. Okay, cool. I thought it's their fucking names. <laughs> you have to walk around with Crystalia the pedo name on your fucking chest. That is bad. Hasn't Crystalia got a joke like that? I swear Crystalia's got a joke. About if you wear a man's name on your back, he can fuck you or something, right? I swear he has. I swear he has got a joke like that. I'm sure. And the important thing is you get a chance to zoom in and talk with us. That's on our Patreon. And there's already 15 episodes available, so you can go get them now. But also, these jackets are only available for the Patreon members. Uh, so limited edition. They're only one run. Limited edition. Yep. Golden Hour. Pa Patreon. Jackets. Only a Patreon member can get these jackets. Look at that. It's real nice, isn't it's it? It's real nice. It's absolutely limited edition. <laughs> water wicking. Water wicking. Just not water wicking. Uh, Fucking hell, Brendan, man. Get your own jokes. He loves a good parrot, isn't it? He loves a good parrot and a good add-on. Just make your own joke or just laugh. Fucking hell. Only a Patreon member can get these jackets. That's what you meant to do as a comedian. Just laugh along. It's a funny joke. Laugh along, enjoy the banter, and keep it moving. It. Look at that. It's real nice, isn't it's it? It's real nice. It's See, here in Parrot, it's real nice. Do you hear the Parrot? Do you hear the Parrot? can get these jackets. Look at that. It's real nice, isn't it's it? It's real nice. It's... <laughs> He can't help it. He's the fucking human comedy parrot, bro. Fuck me. Absolutely limited edition. <laughs> water wicking. Water wicking. Just not water wicking. Uh, Patreon.com. <laughs> What's that? The gringo parrot. <laughs> I love that pet lips. The gringo parrot is perfect. Um, slash the golden hour podcast they must have a lot of patreon backers also the fact that they made it shows that they got a lot of patreon backers um so they're definitely getting some good coinage over there on the fucking patreon but fucking hell man if fans struggle to buy shit like t-shirts i can't imagine who's gonna buy a fucking yellow bomber jacket especially one that kind of looks uriny right it's a bit uriny um it's a little bit yellowy it's not really gold why, you know, like, 
it's a bit much, you know? <laughs> for a podcast merch. If it's part of a fashion collection, cool. But for a bit of podcast merch, it's a bit much, you know? It's a bit excessive, really and truly. <laughs> oh, also, dude, I realize when we said it, it sounds like it's free. It's not free. They're the first available on Patreon to purchase. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's hilarious. The ad reads are so bad. They don't even run through them. Just to say, okay, I'll say this bit. You say that bit. You say this bit. It just kind of freestyle whatever they're saying on the day. And it just, it looks like, it looks like three different people that don't really want to work together, really. Right? You got Eric, who's the dad, who kind of is an older dude who's, you know, had some hard times, just needs to have the money. Uh, by all means, he's always going to be there. He's always going to turn up. He's going to turn up on time. He's probably the first in. Um, you know, he's he's the one that's always there. He needs that fucking money. Brendan is like the... Brendan is like the... He's like the guy that does all right, but also is always kind of seeking approval of the kind of rebel, right? The rebel rouser, who's Chris D'Elia. The one that kind of does what he wants, put his feet up on the table during team meetings and shit. Um, but he's also super funny and has the kind of the ear and the good grace of the bosses and shit. So Brendan always wants to kind of seek his approval, which is why he's always constantly looking on this side. If somebody wanted to, they could probably go through all the episodes of Golden Hour and they'll find that Brendan tends to look to his right more than to his left. He's always fucking looking at Chris, trying to get his approval. Chris, was that funny? Chris, 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 right? Because he fucking loves the guy. Um, but Chris just doesn't want to be there. Every time he sits there and Brendan interrupts him and says something stupid or they have some dumb debate, his mind wanders. He thinks to himself, I used to be on Netflix. I was going to be in a Hollywood movie. I was a TV star, <laughs> you know what I mean? His mind just wanders off to all these things that he could be doing and it kind of makes him angry. It's that quiet rage when you're like, you remember sometimes you're out and about and you get into like a silent argument with somebody in your head. Maybe you bump into somebody in a shop or somebody's rude to you in the streets and you wish you said something and then it kind of comes back to you when you're at home somewhere like, fuck! You start saying stuff like, fuck, what the fuck, you fucking prick. You start saying all this shit in your head because you, you didn't say it at the time that you had your interaction. And I feel like Chris has all those moments like, fuck, man. You should have fucking screen recorded this shit. Ugh. Obviously, you can screen record messages on Snapchat. You fucking idiot. You no, know, he's saying that in his head. You know what I mean? You should ask the fucking age before you send her the dick pic. Shit. You know? And he's realizing it all every time he <coughs> sit next to fucking Brendan Shaw. Oh, my God. But it's definitely three people that don't really want to be there. For sure. Like, this you can tell. Look at him. Like, <laughs> he, he, he needs the money. Again, not a bad thing, but he's definitely there for the money only, Eric. Um... Brendan is there to basically, you know, get the approval of this guy. And this guy is just there because, you know, it's free money, essentially. Like, he doesn't need it. But, hey, if you're going to give it to me, I'll give, I'll take it, you know? <laughs> Purchase. You get the tasty price. There you go. Limited edition <laughs> with proof of funds. <laughs> Limited edition for purchase. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Of course, he left right after that. <laughs> the UFC. He doesn't even ask. See, he's a rebel at work. He doesn't even ask permission to go to the toilet. He just stands up in the middle of meetings <laughs> and just goes, <laughs> I do what I want. I do what I want. Pino Cristalia, he does what he wants. <laughs> oh, 